Today, I will be explaining how Keywords Everywhere uses up credits and give you tips on how you could save up credits so you're not quickly blowing through them and you could get the most out of the tool. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so this is how credits work in Keywords Everywhere. So before we dive in and do our keyword research, you want to make sure you have enough credits. So to view the number of credits you have, just click on the extension, and at the bottom right, you can see exactly how many credits you have left. Now, if you are running low, you can purchase additional credits by clicking on this green link right here. All right, so how do credits get deducted from your account? So whenever Keywords Everywhere shows you keyword level data for any keyword, Keywords Everywhere will deduct one credit. All right, so Keywords Everywhere uses the Google API and pulls data from Google to show you things like the monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score, and the, the trend volume over the past 12 months. All right, so for example, for this keyword, running shoes for men, you can see the monthly search volume, cost per click, competition score, the trend data over the past 12 months. So one credit is being deducted from my account to access this data for this specific keyword. All right, so where else does Keywords Everywhere deduct credits? So if you click on this search bar, you can see the suggested keywords from Google. Now you can see the specific keyword level data for all of these keywords. So one credit is being deducted for each and every one of these keywords, all right? Because Keywords Everywhere does use the Google API to fetch all of this data for every single one of these keywords, all right? Now where else do credits get used up? So on many of these widgets right here, on the Google search results page, you can see all of these widgets with keywords. One credit is being deducted for every single one of these keywords. So for the trending keywords widget, there are three keywords. So three credits are being deducted here. For the related keywords widget, there are eight keywords. So eight credits are being deducted here so on and so forth. Now, a couple of things to note is that for the organic listings, you can see the traffic widget right here that appears. So this data is free for everyone. So no credits are being deducted for this traffic widget right here. Same for the Moz link metrics. No credits are being deducted for the Moz link metrics, right? So both of these sets of data points uh, are free for everyone to use and to access. Now, for the reports, credits do get deducted from your account for most of the Keywords Everywhere reports. So for the Find Long Tail Keywords button right here, if you click on this button, you will get a report that looks something like this. So Keywords Everywhere found 105 keywords found for my search term. So you can see all of these keywords here. Now all of these keywords have the monthly search volume, average cost per click, the competition score, the trend volume over the past 12 months. So a credit is, a credit is being deducted for each and every single one of these keywords. So it looks like there are 50 keywords. So 50 credits are being deducted from your account. All right. Now, if you click on the extension, you has you have access to all of these other features and reports, all right? Now, other reports where credits are being deducted is the bulk keywords data tool. Now you can access that tool by clicking bulk keywords data. Now this one gives you a little bit more control, okay? Because you can add any number of keywords right here and it will only deduct credits depending on how many keywords you add. So I added two keywords here. So Keywords Everywhere only deducts two credits. All right, now same for the uh, trend volume data. All right, so this one only deducts the exact number of keywords, keywords I add to this uh, report. Okay, so I added two, so only two credits are being deducted. 
Now, for competitor keyword gap analysis, so you access that by clicking on competitor gap analysis. So this one, um, you can add your website and five competitor websites. Now, depending on how many keywords Keywords Everywhere finds, they will deduct according to that. Okay, so right now there are about 50 or so keywords here. So 50 credits are being deducted um, by using this report. All right. Now, for the my favorite keywords, right? So for example, maybe you added some of these keywords from the previous reports, right? Say, for example, let's favorite these. Now, for the favorite keywords report, you access that by clicking right over here. Uh, this one is a little bit different. So every time you load up this report, um, Keywords Everywhere gets the latest volume data. So this data will always be up to date. Now, Keywords Everywhere will only charge you one fifth of the total number of keywords shown on the page. So for example, if we only have 20 keywords here, Keywords Everywhere will only deduct four credits from this report, okay? It won't deduct 20 credits. It will only deduct, only deduct a fifth, so that's about four credits, all right? Now, let's just say we want to go a little bit deeper on a specific website, right? We're doing competitor analysis on this shoe website, and we wanna see, you know, maybe we want to see how many organic, or what type of organic ranking keywords um, this particular URL has, right? So. Keywords Everywhere found all of these keywords here that this particular page ranks for. You can see all the keyword level data for each of these keywords. So one credit is, is being deducted for every single one of these keywords, all right? And keyword density is something to be mindful of. So uh, be very wary of this particular report because uh, if you, to access this report, you know, you just click on analyze page content. And you can see all of these keywords here, right, with their uh, search volume. So the longer uh, the page is, the more keywords it will find and the more credits it will deduct. So you can run through your credits very, very quickly with this report. So be very, very mindful of using this particular report because um, only use it if you really want to analyze a specific page because depending on how long the page is, uh, the more credits you will be using up, all right? Now, this one is a little bit different, the top pages report, right, the top pages report. Now, this one does not uh, use up any credits, okay? So uh, this one, we found, you know, the top pages for this domain. We get all the top URLs, the traffic, and the total number of keywords each URL ranks for. So no credits are being deducted here. The only time credits are being deducted is when Keywords Everywhere shows you the keywords. So if you click on one link, uh, you can see all of these keywords here. So Keywords Everywhere will deduct individual um, credits for all of these keywords, all right? Now, also for the traffic metrics. Okay, so to get the bulk traffic metrics, um, no credits are being deducted. So I added this URL here, get metrics. So no credits are being deducted because Keywords Everywhere is not pulling any keyword specific data for me. All right, so now we went through um, the Keywords Everywhere reports. We went through the Google widgets. Now, Keywords Everywhere, as you know, can be used across other websites. For example, other Google properties like Google Search Console. Now, Keywords Everywhere does deduct credits for all the queries um, that, that it gives you the search volume data for. Okay, so for example, um, this queries report in my Google Search Console has 10 keywords, so 10 credits are being deducted, all right? And if you increase the number of rows to 100 keywords, then 100 credits are being deducted, all right? So be mindful of that. Now you can use Keywords Everywhere on e-commerce sites like Amazon. So if you search for running shoes for men and give it a few seconds, now one credit is being deducted because uh, Keywords Everywhere is showing me the search volume data 
uh, for this particular search term. Now keep in mind this search volume data is coming from Google, um, not from Amazon. So this is Google specific data and it is using one credit. Now if I hover over and click on the search bar, um, for all the search volume that appears here, one credit is being deducted for all of these recommended keywords that have the data right next to it. All right. Now for other websites, like other keyword research websites, like Answer the Public. So Keywords Everywhere will show you the keyword level data for the keywords within Answer the Public. So you can see here, running shoes for men near me. You can see the search volume. Same for these other three keywords right here. So four credits are being deducted here. And across uh, the page, you can see additional keywords. So credits are, are being deducted for all of these keywords with that search volume, all right? So as you can see, you can go through your credits pretty quickly if you are not being mindful of what websites you are on, um, how many times you are doing a Google search, so on and so forth. So to save credits, it's um, very, very easy, very simple to save credits, all right? So to save credits, you need to go to your settings page and your settings page will look like this, all right? So there are a couple of areas to focus on. So the first area is the supported websites. So this is a list of all the websites where Keywords Everywhere uh, works on. So if you don't want Keywords Everywhere to work on any specific website here, just turn it off. Just turn it off. Right? So maybe you are doing work on your Google Search Console and you don't want to get search volume data for keywords listed in your Google Search Console. Just toggle that off. And when you are in your Google Search Console, um, no credits will be used because Keywords Everywhere will not be running on Google Search Console. And that goes the same for all these other websites. So that's one way you can conserve credits. Now, another way is to look at the credit use usage for widgets. So these widgets are the widgets that appear in, you know, for example, on Google, on YouTube, right? So you can turn on or off the widgets, um, the specific widgets right here. Okay, so if you, maybe you just don't, maybe you just want the YouTube widgets, you can turn off all of, you know, the Google specific widgets, right? And just show you the the YouTube or vice versa. So this is another way you can save credits. Now, another way you can save credits as well is under the miscellaneous settings, show metrics in autocomplete suggestion dropdowns. So this is another area where you can save credits, all right? So you know how I kind of showed you on Google, the suggested keywords. If you don't want to waste credits whenever you view the suggested keywords, just untoggle this. All right, just un untoggle this to save uh, credits. All right, so these are really, really simple ways to uh, save credits. And the last way, the more, the most simplest way is if you're not doing any keyword research, just uh, turn off uh, the, the extension, right? So just turn it off if you don't wanna use any credits, if you are not doing any SEO work, just simply turn off the keywords of your everywhere widget and you will be saving credits. And credits expire one year after purchase, so make sure you use them before you lose them. So hopefully this um, tutorial was uh, helpful for all of you guys. And with that said, I will speak to you and see you in the next video. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you did by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and if you wanna learn more about Keywords Everywhere, just click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one.